Hey, guess what? It's Valentine's Day. Just calling to say happy Valentine's Day to my two special ladies of the car. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day, Lisa and Sam. I'm headed down to Phoenix. I've got you packed in my suitcase. We're ready to go. We're going to hit up all the Walmarts for all the Pop-Tart aisles. We're going to hit up the Dunkin' Donuts to find out if it actually is Dunkin' Donuts or if it is actually just Dunkin' or maybe just Donuts. I don't know. We're going to check it out. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to go shopping. We're going to find boots. We're going to find shoes. We're not going to quit until we are successful. This Valentine's Day, when you're thinking of love, think of shoes and wine. And me, your HHG. Stay warm, ladies. Bye-bye. Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, friends of the podcast. Hello, everyone. Samantha. Lisa. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, for God's Pal. sake. Gal, uh, Galentines, or Palentines. Pal, gal, whatever. It's ridiculous, but whatever. Because <laughs> it's... It, hi, really? Yep. Why do you think it's ridiculous? Because we were just embarrassed. <laughs> we were just... We were just No, we forgot. And then we were embarrassed. And then we were embarrassed. No, it's, you know no, what? No, yeah, I was embarrassed. It was like as though the whole wide world just stopped... And, and looked at us. Look, you could hear a pin drop, <laughs> Samantha. We went into a, a local restaurant here in Saskatoon, and we eat before we podcast. Always, because we go through our notes. We go through our notes. There's a few choice places yeah. that we like to go. So we go in, and we... It seemed odd that the parking lot was really, really full, because it's never... <laughs> why is it so full? It's never full. That was our conversation in yes, the car. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. And then we, <laughs> we get in there, and they're like, they look at us. Do you have a reservation? It's like every set no. of eyes in that room no. st- stopped eating and turned <laughs> as soon as we said we didn't have a reservation. And I was like, no, no. Like we weren't even like, like, no, we were like, no. Kind of like, what type of stupid question is that? And then I'm like, oh shit. It's, it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> and we did not have reservations. No, we totally forgot. We completely. Com- totally right? forgot. Not that we would have made them anyways. And then we sat and we got sat right by the kitchen. It's like, the only available little two-seater table. Because right? you two idiots don't have reservations. <laughs> no, it's because we're not here for a special night. <laughs> we're just here to eat. We're fat girls who are here to eat some food yeah. before we go do our podcast. Yeah. Our waitress was I mean, pretty funny. You've seen us before on Thursdays. Yeah. You know? I mean, this is pretty funny, though. She was she was a good sport. Yeah, she was a good sport. Yeah, it was kind but of But left us alone as quickly as she could. Well, I think, yeah, I think she was. I think she was making her money somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, she knew that. <laughs> when, you know what? Here's the thing. When you're in the restaurant and they say, what would you like to drink? And we're like, we're good with the water. water. I think that's, it's all downhill yeah, from it's there. Like, it's Valentine's Day. Drink. Yeah. Hi, we're going to open our notebooks yeah, right now. We have we're going to be, like, do. writing and yeah. shit. We're so. good. We're good. We just want some mozzarella <laughs> toast and some hot turkey sandwiches. Yeah, at least it was all about the bread today. I had, like. So I had bread yeah. and then bread and bread. And you know, okay. But you know what I thought was really funny is I think he's the owner. Okay. The big as guy. Soon as, yeah. As soon yeah. as we start, like as soon as our stuff got taken away, yeah. he came by with like little Hershey kisses. I know. And I'm like. <laughs> right. Cause he probably knew these, these two oh, are God so sake. awkward right now. Yeah. But I didn't care. But Whatever. I treated. Well, it's because you still had a gift card. And I thought, you know what? Since it's Valentine's Day, Samantha. Whatever. Right. Lisa. Let me treat my Galentine. To a free supper. <laughs> the cheapest supper. The cheapest supper. It was really cheap. It was yes. like $28. It was like and then, so cheap. And then I left a $7 tip. I don't know if that's right or wrong. It's right. Okay. God, you can't add. I can't. Hey? I don't. You know what? I don't know. I don't know what the oh, going rate is 20%. For, for supper. Is it? Yeah. Okay, well, that's it's what... It's 20% well, regardless. Hope, well, hopefully I up. Hopefully, Why do you think it changes from breakfast, lunch to dinner? I think it should Who be told less. You this? I think it should be less for supper. Is or there for, really for a breakfast. brain in that head, There's, or does it just knock it around like Samantha, empty shit? In it's there? been minus fifty, so my brain is a little frozen. You froze your toes. I did freeze you my toes. You froze your toes. Oh, but Lord, maybe it got to your head. I, I don't mean, know. it's hard to say. It's because I'm not wearing a toque, right? That's why. Well, that's your own fault. I know, but can I tell you? I have a funny bus story to tell you. Yes. Okay, so here's my issue with the bus, right? You have. Not always. I don't always hate the bus. Take a cab. We got a Uber now. We have Uber. Yeah, but you know what? I've been I've been checking the Uber prices every day when I go it's home. It's creepy. No, it's not creepy. But it's the creepy. thing is, is that I'm not seeing a really big discount in the Uber. No. 
I'm not seeing it. So I'm like, I, I did the Uber thing and I said to uh, the HHG, I'm like, I'm going to take an Uber. Checked it out. I'm like, still 10 bucks. No, it's like three bucks. It's free because I have my, my bus pass. <laughs> right. So I'm like, nope, still too expensive for the it's Uber. So cheap. So the bus this morning. Okay. Uh-huh. It's minus 40. Yeah. It's cold. Yep. And the bus is full. It's mm-hmm. really full. Yeah. And everybody's all layered up. This dude, so I have my own seat. This dude comes onto the bus, and he sits beside me. And that's fine. I get that, right? It's a full bus, so I'm not going to be a bitch about it. Not, ex- <laughs> But I'm not excited, right? Because really, hi. You're not going to be a bitch, but I'm not, you're thinking. But I'm thinking. But here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> what I'm thinking when the dude sits down, he has a travel mug. Uh-huh. He's got no lid on it. Well, that makes no sense. It's just loose coffee in there. <laughs> it's just loose coffee. Samantha, loose it's coffee. just loose, <laughs> random coffee in a cup. Spilling. Spilling. Right? And he's moving his arm with the bus, like, you know, how you would, like, so it doesn't spill. And the dude's sitting beside me, right? And I'm shooting him the, the sideways. All, for the whole 12 minutes, I didn't take my eyes off his off his mug. Hey? Serious? Yeah. I'm just, like, side looking at the mug, and I'm, like, in my mind, I'm, like, you son of a bitch. That thing oh, spills. Oh, you're, you're getting a bitchy side glance. I was getting a bitchy side glance, right? Because I'm watching. Because it's filled to the top. Dude's not even having a sip, right? So I would think that if well, I sit down and, and, and my coffee's about to spill and I'm trying to juggle it so it doesn't spill, I'm at least being a decent dude and I'm having a sip. He didn't even have a sip. Instead, he just let it spill everywhere. It's spilling. <laughs> it's spilling. And he's wiping it with his dirty mitt. And I'm like, oh, my God, if this hits me, like, I'm going to snap, eh? I'm going to lose my shit. That's what I thought. I'm going to lose my shit. It's a tough month for the bus. It is a tough month. Right? Um, People are overdressing. Yes. There was a lady. Why I secretly took a picture. You did, and you sent it to me, and I'm like, what is the wrong? Oh. Right? What's wrong with this picture? Pant over pant. Pant over pant. That's a girl who's freezing to death. She's freezing, right? And don't get me wrong. I understand pant over pant, but sometimes you can't do that. You just can't do it. Okay. This is what I think. Okay. Solving the world's problems. Yes. When you live in provinces that get to the the minus temperatures that we do, yeah. long johns should just be something they hand out to everybody. But then you go to work, and what do you do with your long johns? you got to take them off. So if I'm wearing long johns, which I'm not, it's my black pant and my skinny chicken leg. That's all that accompanies my black pant and my underwear, right? And a sock. And I get to work. So let's just say I'm wearing long johns. Uh-huh. And I got my long johns on. Yeah. Thermal? Yeah. Like, 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 like the... Yeah. Do they have women's ones or do yes, I have? Of course. Or, oh my God. Do I have a, you have lived here for a very long time. Well, I don't wear long of johns. Of course there's women's okay. long johns. Good to know, right? Cause I don't have a pouch. I don't need a place for my pouch. I don't have a pouch. <laughs> so, so I, so I wear my long johns. Uh-huh. I get to work. Mm-hmm. I'm taking my long underwear off. Yes. But you have underwear underneath them. Yeah. And where am I putting them? You're going to put them in your bag. I'm going to put them in my purse. And then you're going to. Go before you catch the bus. You're gonna go back to the bathroom. Put, put my underwear on... back on. Yes. I'm never doing that. You're not a busser. I'm just saying. No. I'm not a busser. Wear ski You're pants. You're absolutely right. Right. Wear ski pants. I don't say that snotty. It's like that. Don't say that. Like 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 you're like like my <laughs> shit don't smell. I don't bus. Right. I don't bus. Well, you know what? You could. I don't want right? to. Right. It's I fine. Cho- I choose not I'm to. I'm just saying. There's some odd looks. Track uh-huh. pants are really popular right now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Bus. I have to ask a question. Okay. <laughs> Did you give your neighbor your Wi-Fi? No, because you told me not to. Yes. Right? You yes, told me. I did. So. <laughs> and why? Because he's a meth head. Yes. And because your husband would kill you. <laughs> yeah. Right? I would be more inclined to your husband will kill you. Yeah. So that's the thing. So here's the thing, friends of the podcast. Uh, and I've talked about these neighbors before, right? They're meth heads, I'm sure. They're all- <laughs> It's crazy. So the other uh... night, right? They're having a fight. Yes. And I'm peering in the peephole. Oh, my God. peephole, right? Always. Because they're across. And just as I do that, I see their door open. And dude comes and knocks on my door. And I'm thinking, holy Christ, he can see me. He can see my eye. He knows that my eye is is, is, is watching them. Oh, my God. But you can't. Yeah. But then he knocks on the door. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but my nighttime attire, right? <laughs> Nine o'clock at night, my nighttime attire it's not necessarily like open the door wide attire, right? It's stick my head around. like It's like opening my door just a little bit enough for my melon to kind of fit through. And I'm like, hi. And he's like, uh, uh, is, uh, is he gone? And I'm like, who? 
Like, who are we talk? Like, who are we talking about? And then he's like, um, like uh, your husband. I'm like, yeah. And then I, so I'm giving up my personal information. Oh my god. I'm like, yeah, he's gone to work. He works at night. He goes to work at eight thirty. Why the fuck would you say that? Because he asked, and that's just how I. You're that's, an idiot. I know. So I told him that, and I'm like, is there something I can help you with? Mm-hmm. Right. As I'm still just kind of peering in the door, uh-huh. I'm like, is there something I can help you with? He's like, uh, yeah. I was just wondering if uh, I could use your Wi-Fi. No. And I'm like, you know what? I said, I don't even know what my Wi-Fi is. I said, all I know is that my phone just connects to it. Right? It just connects. Uh-huh. So I wouldn't even know how to do that. So he's like, oh, okay. So then he shakes my hand. And then I close the door. Uh-huh. And then I sit in the chair. And then I contemplate it. And then I sent you a text telling you, what should I do? Because I felt like I should go back and give. Really? I felt like I should dress. I'm sorry. Put my does, bra on. Does put my your pants next door on. neighbor slash meth head guy pay your rent? I know that. Pay your cable but bill, I felt your internet bad, bill. I'm like, say he really needs to no. text somebody. Then you know what? Get in the vehicle you own or walk to the someplace, some convenience store, and, and use right? their Wi-Fi. Okay. So I didn't give him that. No. It was weird though. You're so. Stop it. It was so weird. He now knows you're by yourself at 8.30 at night, Well, he probably dumbass. knows that already because he probably knows he probably knows that Mike goes to work. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, sorry. Do you lock your doors? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi. I live across from a meth head. Of course I lock my doors. <laughs> but I also open my doors when he knocks on the door. Stop it. Right? <laughs> Pretend you're sleeping. I couldn't because I thought he saw my eye. That's the thing. You can't see anything. Well, what a coincidence. My eye is there, and all of a sudden he opens the door and knocks on it. And I'm like, ugh. Right? Because you're so gullible. I know. So I didn't even think that I couldn't. Oh I didn't even God. think for one second that I couldn't not open the door. Because oh I'm like, he knows I'm here. Because he sees my eye. Yeah. For someone who thinks they're so smart, you are really, really stupid. No, I'm really smart. I'm not always life smart. <laughs> no, you're That's not. That's the thing. Your life <laughs> skills suck. I'm not always life smart. Suck, suck, right? suck. Right? Oh, they don't suck, but they, sometimes they're challenged. <laughs> right? You're they're more than challenged. <laughs> oh my god! Sometimes they're a little bit challenged. Okay. Okay. Did you see? Did you see the advertisement for? Uh, yes. Why is Rob Lowe now officially a game show host? Mental Samurai. Yeah. I don't know, but it's worth watching because it's Rob Lowe. Well, only if he's going to be in it twenty four seven. Well, he's the host, so he's like Ellen. So you're going to see lots of them. Well, here's hoping. No, I think it's going to be really, really good. We're uh-huh. going to watch them. Got to love Rob Lowe. Here's my well, thing. Well, I like a little Rob Lowe okay. in my life. Yeah. Of course, everybody does. Remember when I was reading the Rob Lowe book before bed? <laughs> I'm like, I need a little Rob Lowe before bed. <laughs> I'm just curled up in bed. Me and Rob Lowe. Me and Rob. Right? And then I'd go to sleep and I'd just put the book on the pillow. Rob, Rob. Yeah. But here's the thing, right? You know his brother, Chad Lowe? Yes. How do you feel if you're Chad Lowe and your brother is beautiful, pretty Rob Lowe? Cheated. 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 Jaded. <laughs> Right? I'm surprised he hasn't killed somebody. Right? Or like like knifed his brother or something. Well, he hasn't had a very successful career though. He was married to Hillary Hillary Swank and that didn't go that didn't oh, go yeah, well. That didn't go well. No. No. Rob Lowe though. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Because then that's when you know life's not fair, hey? Oh, and Rob Lowe's been married to his wife forever. Yeah, but that's how you know when life's not fair. Hmm. Right? When that when when your Rob Lowe's your brother and you don't look like that. Right? He got hit with the ugly stick. That's all I'm saying. He's not that bad. Oh, he's he just not, doesn't look like his brother. He's not well. When that's your brother, when there's the family <laughs> picture, it's like, mm. when was he adopted? <laughs> okay. Do you wear a house coat? Of course I do. Are, do I'm you? not a monster. I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. But I don't wear a house coat because I get hot. <laughs> but lately I've been using a blanket as a house coat because I've been getting cold. Right? So uh, I was telling the HHG this. Are you this. finally through your menopause? Yeah, I think I've done it. Cool. Yeah, I know, hey? A little envious, eh? Whoever would have thought you'd be envious of me? Go figure. So, the other night, I'm freezing cold, right? Uh So, and the HHG, in the middle of my freezingness, she Google duos, right? Mm -hmm. So, she just Google duos. I got the blanket on, and she's like, are you cold? And I'm like, I'm freezing. And she's like, put on a house coat. Well, I don't have a house coat. I said, I just use a blanket. And what did she say? So smart sometimes she is, Samantha. So smart. She said, but a house coat is a blanket with arms. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, my God, it is a blanket with arms. I want to buy one. I'm in the market. I'm in the market. Okay, but do you want, like, like a light cotton one or a big fleecy fuzzy one? Like, what are I don't we think I want, like, a crazy-ass one. I don't think. Like, I don't think I want, like, a well, big... Well, you work in the bay. Yeah, so I can... I think I want, like, Feeling a light one. confident they have house coats. I think I want a cotton one. Cotton. Yeah, do they have cotton? Yes, they have cotton. <laughs> like, a cotton. <laughs> cotton. Say it like it's say it like you mean it. I want a cotton. I would like a cotton. Room. I'm looking for a cotton, cotton, not a terry. No. I'm looking for cotton. Cotton. Yeah. 
That's what I'm thinking. Uh huh. Yeah. It's a house coat with arms. <laughs> it's a blanket with arms. Oh, so weird. I know, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Right now, you're doing it. Yeah. You're doing it. You're I'm being awkward. awkward. <laughs> you're being awkward. Right? You're being awkward right now. Why are you being awkward? Because. Okay, let me practice. Because Ready? Because I think you suffer <laughs> with not being able to handle. I can't. Some awkward hellos. I don't can't handle an awkward you hello. You can't. Right? It drives me insane. It hurts my feelings. You And you hate silence. And I hate silence. So you always fill it. <laughs> Right? I do. I If there's, right, you know, that Simon and Garfunkel song, Sounds of Silence. No sound of silence. There's no sound of silence. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want a sound of silence even in a text. Oh. Right? Here, that's how weird I am with silence. You, if I send a text. You don't like space. No, if I send a text and you don't respond right away, I automatically think she must be mad. Oh, she hasn't her. responded. You are just. I know. Five so aw- so crazy. awkward hellos, right? Do you encounter those in your work world? Of awkward course, hellos. Of course. I know, hey. And I hate it. And then it's like. <laughs> yeah. And you quickly walk away. Ugh. But then you're kind of mad at them because the very <laughs> least, the very least a person can do is say hello. Yes. It takes no skill. It no. doesn't necessarily even take kindness. Yeah. Just say it. And then a part of me. Wants to track them through the store and keep saying hi to them until, <laughs> until they until say they hi. acknowledge. Yeah, yeah, because that's the whole thing, right? So you're at work and you're like, "Hi there," and then you're like, "Uh," and then uh. and they don't say anything, and you're like, and it's just them. <laughs> and you lean in, going, "Yeah, like y- you heard me. Right? And I then, saw you twitch." Yeah, and then you make eye contact with them, and you're like, "Hi," with like a little fake wave, and there's still nothing. I'm like. God, this is going south quick. <laughs> this is just spiraling out of control. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah. So I hate, bad. like, just say hello. Yeah. Right? Because every customer knows when they walk into your space, yeah. they know that they're going to be said hello to. That's true. Because if they're not said hello to, Smith, that they're going to complain. They're sending an email. Oh, that's true. Right? I need to send an email to them, to their people. She didn't say hi back. <laughs> right? You didn't say hi back. That's true. Because you know what my thing is? Because you hurt my feelings when you don't say hi back. Guess what? You get nothing now. I'm yeah. done. I'm done with you. Yeah. Right? I extended the hello, and you awkwardly threw it back in my face with silence. <laughs> right? I have no time for that. It's not my go-to. Okay, but speaking of, like, awkward, uh-huh. it was the haircut oh. you got on Friday. She was the whole, uh, I think it was, what, half an hour experience of you getting your hair sort of horrible. kind of cut but not really okay so here's the was thing awkward. right that was awkward yeah so i had to go to my different hairdresser and then she like why did... do people <laughs> think okay so i am a woman i am a woman i have short hair yes you do i don't have a brush cut no you don't i've never had hair <laughs> like i've never had like a brush cut right um like you look like you're in the army i don't look like i'm in the army no i don't not that there's anything wrong with that look but it's not my look no so when you go to the new hairdresser and you show her the picture of because right because my hair has grown a little longer or had grown a little longer yeah so i show her the picture of the real me here's me right with short hair stylish forward Household, right? <laughs> fairly, like somewhat, like fairly styled. Household, right? Again, I'm not like like on the cutting edge of like like crazy hair. No, but it has a style. Yeah. Okay. And I show her the picture, and she really wants nothing to do with the picture because I okay, yeah, no problem, no problem. And then she just starts. Uh huh. She just starts blow drying it after she's done whatever. She's just blow drying it all forward, like from the middle of my head, yeah, at the back forward. And then I was wondering. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing I've that? I've never seen your regular hairdresser, my sister-in-law, and ever, yeah, ever do your hair. Like ever that. do that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then she shows me a pic. Did you want to see the back? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> friends of the podcast. Because now you have a bald spot. <laughs> I have two cowlicks in the back of my hair. I have two squirrels. Oh. So you know what? It takes a lot of skill and a lot of product <laughs> to not. And who's obsessed with the back of their head? Me, you. because it's also flat. <laughs> because of my two swirls, it makes the back of my head, the middle part of the back of my head, really flat. Yeah. So I have a mirror at home, and I'm always looking at the back of my head. You always are. am looking at the back yeah. of my head to make sure my bald spots it's aren't exposed. Funny. And she showed me the mirror, yeah. and all I saw was my bald spot. Yeah. Because like, <gasps> I knew we were, I knew we weren't done our night. I knew we were still gonna go have a bite to eat. Yeah. I wasn't just going home. And I'm like, and what did she say? Do you want me to tint it? She was going to spray paint my head. 
What was that about? Yeah, that was funny. Oh my yeah, god. That was good. That was a good time. That was super awkward. Right. And I'm, she's like, So do you think you need any more? And I, I spoke you, up for you and you said, stopped nope, it. we're good. You stopped the process. <laughs> she didn't do it. Let's see if it's even. It didn't even matter, right? You're like, no. I'm saving my friend. We're done here. <laughs> we are done. I need you to stop cutting her hair right? because she won't have any hair left. No. And Linnea will not be able to fix this. Right? Because we knew that on Wednesday we were gonna go yeah. I was gonna go get some color done and oh you were gonna god. go get your hair done so we knew that this was just a temporary thing yeah but then here's what's funny so i'm at home mm-hmm. right not um, and i'm sad because i got a bad <laughs> hair right i've gone and i've got bad haircut again and sometimes it doesn't matter that it's only going to be for four days uh-huh. right it's still bad for those four days yeah so i got a bad haircut i'm sitting in my chair i'm watching tv and all of a sudden i get a notification on my uh on my um my phone mm-hmm. for an email okay mm-hmm. so i go to it weirdest thing it's from pinterest i hate pinterest on a good day right Uh i got no time for it i don't get it i don't care about your recipes i don't care about your genes (laughs) i just don't care and what does it do so i see it you know how you have all your list of all your emails right Uh and it says like pretty much from from pinterest bad haircuts and haircut fails need inspiration and i'm like you (laughs) son of a bitch you son of a bitch, you Pinterest. You think, how do you even know that I'm sitting here right now at home upset because I have a bad haircut and a haircut fail? It emailed you ugly hairdos. It, it asked if I needed inspiration. No, what I need is I need my hair fixed. <laughs> how did Pinterest know to send me that? Because your phone is secretly listening to you. To who? I'm not. It's me. I'm not talking to anybody. <laughs> it's just me. I'm not sitting at home talking to myself. But it was there. Your phone was there during your haircut. And it knows. It knows. And it told Pinterest. Your little Samsung is so attached to you. It is. It's, <laughs> there it is. That's the answer. It's an emotional attachment. It <laughs> knew. My little Sam felt my heart sadness. <laughs> felt my sadness in my heart. Yes, your electronic phone. And then decided to go to my nemesis, Pinterest. Yeah. And Pinterest taunted me. Yes. I got no time. I got no patience for Pinterest. Mm-hmm. I was like so mad. But guess what I had to do? Because my hair got colored lighter. Yes, which happened like two days ago. Yeah, right? So we went a little higher, lighter with the highlights. Mm-hmm. I changed my eyeliner. Yes, I can see you're not a whore anymore. I'm not smudging. <laughs> not smudging. Seemed too dark. Seemed too harsh. I did the smudge this morning and I'm like, oh, no. That is too, too much. Oh, my That's God. That's too harsh. Yeah. Right? So I went back to my simmer you're, brown now. You're just... <laughs> That's what it's called. Simmer brown now. Oh my God! That's the name. That's the name on my on my eyeliner. God Simmer bless Brown. Cheap makeup, right? <laughs> oh, right. Hey. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> oh my Isn't God! that so funny? That is so. I know. Weird. Now all I have to do is just get the Snapscara and then I'll be set. What the fuck is that? Have you not seen the commercial? No. The Snapscara? No. It's, it's it's mascara that washes off. Mascara does wash off. It washes off without giving you raccoon eyes. That makes no sense. Well, that's... Look at the ad. Well, then maybe you don't know how to wash your face. I know how to wash my face. <laughs> yes, don't. my face My face if is you tender. Have, if you have, <laughs> no, I have if a you tender have problems face. washing your face Samantha, because of your no. mascara, you got problems. No, no, I, but maybe it's the smudge. <laughs> maybe the smudge is like 24-hour proof. And, and apparently you don't know how to wash your I face. I don't know. All I know is I'm using this stuff in a little blue container, <laughs> and it's like a liquid, and I'm putting it on my eyes... And the the, the 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 shadow comes off. Is it the is it eye makeup remover? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what the little blue bottle. That's is. what the little blue bottle is. It's eye makeup remover. Oh my god. Yeah, and it's not removing all the eye makeup. No. So I think without the smudge and the snap scare, I think I'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure I'm you will be. That's all I'm saying. It's tough being you, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it's really hard. Sometimes oh it's god. really really hard. Uh huh. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I was like one of those dogs in the dog kennel show. Because they get love. The Westminster. The dog show. The Westminster Kennel Club dog show. Really? Those dogs get pampered. They get loved. They get they groomed. They, they get treats. They do. And they you get. Like you want a treat. It's all I want. It's all I want. I just want all you those wanna things. You want to be personally groomed. <laughs> I want to be personally groomed. You want a treat. I want a treat and I want to be loved. Right? <laughs> And I want to do, and I want to learn how to do the little sw- oh the little, God. the little twizzles through those, like through the maze. Yeah. So you want to be a dog? Maybe in my next life, I just want to be a dog. Yeah. 
I want to be Winky, because Winky the dog did really, really good. So <laughs> Mike and I watched the Westminster Kennel Dog Show. Oh my god! It was like the like the like the races. They were like they do the jumps and they go through the tires. They yeah. do all that. We watched it for three hours on Sunday. Three three hours. I think Mike likes it more than me. It was dogs. But it's so cool to see what they can do. They have their time, and some of those like little dogs. Oh my god. You see how fast they go. There's little legs and then and then and their owners can't even keep up, right? And they're all like and and jump and jump and around and through the and through and it's like 7.25 seconds. Like they're so fast. We watched every level. Oh my yeah, god. Every level. That is so weird. Yeah. And the weird thing was is that one of the dogs uh, uh, was from Canada. Oh. Yeah, he didn't win though. Oh. Mm-hmm. But it was That's a cool show. It was a really cool show. Mm-hmm. It was kind of cool. Yeah. But apparently you watched bowling too. I didn't like what it. What is okay? I that, get that. there was no sports on Sunday. That was the problem. Okay, so this is why you watch bowling and, and the kennel club. This is the PBA. Yeah, the PBA, uh-huh. the Players Bowling Association, or uh-huh. something like that. And what did you think? I thought that it's an easy sport. <laughs> I thought all you do it didn't challenge me. It didn't challenge me at all. <laughs> but, oh my God! But the purse was a million bucks. Yeah. A million bucks, Samantha, yeah. to throw a ball at ten pins. Something that I can do and you can do. Uh-huh. I can throw a ball at 10 pins. I don't do it well, though. Well, I could. I don't know. I haven't bowled forever. You cannot. How do you know? I bet you can't. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Really? You want to go bowling? I'm just saying that, that that's all. Okay. I, there's no rules to bowling, right? You don't put it in the gutter. <clears throat> that's the only rule. Don't put it in the gutter. And don't let your toe go over the line. Right? You throw it, you get all, here's the thing. Do you know bowling? You throw it, you get all the balls, you, that's a strike. Lisa, I used to be in a bowling league. Huh? You were in a bowling league? <laughs> Back in the day. Of course you were. Yeah. Just like when you were like with your girl guides? Yeah. The same thing? I didn't go to girl guides. You I went, went to, to brownies. scouts or something. No, I went to brownies. You went to brownies. Did you fly up? No, I did not. No. Did no. you walk up? No. Did you get a foot on your back? <laughs> right? Or the wings? And then you became like 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 the green oh beret God, or something. Stop it. Right? Did you wear the uniform? You were in a bowling league? Yes. Wow. Uh-huh. Were you the captain? No. Did you wear like I an only S went, on your shirt? It was only for like one season. I didn't enjoy myself. Like the hip hop? When you didn't enjoy the hip hop? Really? We're you're bringing a, that up you're now? You're a bit of a starter and a quitter. Yes, I am. Wow. Yeah. When it comes to things like that, I That am. you don't like. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You didn't follow through with the hip hop. Who knows no. where you could be now? <laughs> Who knows where you could be now? It was just for fun, Lisa. You make it sound like I was doing it for serious. <laughs> and I wasn't. I know, but you bailed but on the recital. let's go back to you slamming people who bowl I'm for not, a living. I think bowling looks like fun. It I is. I just don't understand why but it's a million dollars. But they can make a lot because you have to have talent to bowl. It's not just about rolling a ball down a lane. What's the okay? You have to be able to hit things and they're all there in the middle. You no, can they're see not. Them. It's, it's not, not like, as easy as you think. It's not like archery where it's really far away. Oh my god! Right? I can see the end. I don't know. I, that's you're just, you're pissing off the people. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to piss off anybody. Uh-huh. Bowling looks like a lot of fun. Uh-huh. I just don't know if it's a million dollar sport. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Okay. I think this is more up your alley. Okay, tell me. Alcoholic. Ice cream. Yes. It's the boozy collection oh, by Hagen Alcohol Oz. ice cream. Yeah. It's the boozy collection by Hagen Oz. Boozy collection. They have like six new flavors and they have actual booze in them. You know what I picture? This is what this is who I think would really like it. I think the HHG would really like it. Uh-huh. I picture the HHG and her Hugh Hefners and her house coat and her little fur slippers with like it's like it's like the little one liter, the five hundred milliliter, the Hagen Dazs boozy collection and her silver spoon and just like Sitting on the edge of the bed, eating it, watching TV. Because she's got so many layers on. She needs something to keep she needs, cold. Right? Exactly. Right? And because she's classy. So she's all dressed to the nines in her Hugh Hefner. And she's in menopause. And she's in menopause. She is in menopause. Mm-hmm. Our girl's in menopause. She's got sweaty baby head. Oh, my God. <laughs> she is on fire. Yes. Okay? So the other day at work, she's got her sweaty hands, right, already? The other day at work, she's now been playing this new game, Hot in Here or Hot Flash, right? <laughs> Usually, it's hot flash. Not usually hot in here, right? Usually, it's hot flash. The other other day, this is what she says to me the other day at work. She's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. Hot in here, hot flash. I'm like, I'm like, hot flash. She's like, feel my head. And this is me. And then I stop dead in my tracks. I'm like, huh? She's like, feel my head. Right? She's got longer hair. Uh, okay, so I take, because you know what, because I'm her friend. Because you're so an idiot. I, I take my hand, I put it on the back of her head, two things. 
First off, her head is radiating heat. Like putting your hand close to the stove element. Hot flashes are not radiating fun. heat. Second thing, her head is the size of an apple. She has the littlest baby <laughs> head ever. She has a tiny. She's got tiny little baby hands. Uh-huh. She's got a tiny little baby head. I told her this the next day. She's like, I do. I'm like, you really do? Because when I, because I put my hand, uh-huh. I cupped my hand, put it on the back of her head, and her whole head was in the palm of my hand. That's so weird. I'm like, your head is like. She's like one of those like little monkeys. She's like, like her head is so. Like a peanut, so little, but she's like just dying, hey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because menopause is not for the faint of heart. It's not. Because if men were made to go through menopause, they wouldn't. They, they wouldn't, wouldn't exist. Do. No, they wouldn't. It wouldn't exist. No. That's why they can't have babies. Okay. Although we shouldn't talk about that because we didn't have babies either. <laughs> right? We cho- It was a choice. It was a choice. It was a choice. Not that I couldn't take it. I could take it. Well, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go to the gynecologist. Yeah, <laughs> right? That's that's where I was drawing the line. Yeah. I don't want to do that. No. Okay, so why do you want to get rid of your black furniture? I want new furniture. Why? Because a few. I okay, when you mean okay, I don't mean couch and chair. You mean like, like coffee table. Uh huh. I mean like TV stand. Uh huh. I mean that stupid thing that has the fake fireplace in it, the stupid bookcases. <laughs> Everything's black. <laughs> and here's the thing, right? Uh, when you dust black, it doesn't go away. It's you turn around. It's like you never did it. You never did it. Yeah, it's like you never did it. And that drives me crazy because oh. I'm a clean I'm a clean house person. So I just think no, now. No. Yes. Roll it back. No. Your husband's a clean house. I'm person. I'm a clean house person. You're you're high. Hi. You're a ha job. I do a ha job Which on is some a things. Half ass. I do half ass cleaning because I know he'll do ha. a better job. But I still like a clean house. Let's clarify that, Samantha. I still like a clean house. I think house. it's funny. You just defended what you were clean. <laughs> I'm clean. But that, but that's the problem with the black furniture. I know. Yeah. You dust it. Two minutes later, God dust it again. Because there's dust in the air. Yeah. And it just automatically, I'm like, yes. are you kidding? You know what? You should just cl- cover everything in plastic. That seems a little extreme. <laughs> seems a little awkward. People used to do that in the 70s. I know. And you'd sit on their plastic couch. Yeah. 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 Well, I might keep our couch And then clean. that's weird. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird in the 70s. Oh, 70s yeah. were weird, Samantha. Yeah, well, the 70s were weird. Yeah, so we finished the last thing of ribs, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what? I'm not so excited about ribs anymore. Why? Because you know what? Pork smells like pig. <laughs> and it, yeah, really, it, it really bothered me on Sunday, the smell of pig. Because <laughs> I think the only smell of pig that should be in my apartment should be bacon. It should be bacon. should be bacon pig. Yeah, bacon pig. Only bacon pig. That makes Cause that's Because that's enjoyable pig smell. Ribs. With just salt and pepper. Not that enjoyable. Oh, yeah, but I thought you put sauce on them. After they're cooked. Oh. Yeah. So it's like the pig beforehand. cooking in my <laughs> oven, <laughs> smelling my house up like pig. Right? Whereas at least when you cook bacon, you're like, mmm, bacon. You don't do that with ribs. <laughs> not you're so not, much. No, there wasn't like, mmm, ribs. Mm, no. Yummy. I'm done with it. I'm done. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm done. And what is, I hear there's a new Gibson meal. Yes. And there's a twist, apparently. We've branched out. <laughs> We've branched out. So now, yes, what we're doing is we're doing the traditional weenie beanie, but not so traditional. So by weenie beanie, I mean <laughs> wieners, wieners and, and beans. beans. Right? <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> but here's the difference, right? Uh-huh. So most people would do, they'd boil their their wieners, uh-huh. and then they'd, they'd cut it up afterwards and put it into the beans, right? Okay. That's not how we do it. So you normally it's a boil, it's a, a boil, cut, a cut, and a throw into the beans. Yeah. So what it is for us, because you know I like to like, I I I, I feel like I'm a bit of a chef this way. No, you're not. I'm, I'm an out of the box thinker when it comes to my cooking. Sure. So this is what I do. I before I boil, I cut, chop uh-huh. chop chop, throw them into the pot, boil boil boil, drain drain drain, put them into the beans, stir stir stir. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Eat, eat, eat. Everything in threes. <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we do it at the Gibson. It's not new, new, new. <laughs> it's weenie beanie with a twist. It's not with a yes, twist. Because you know what? The first time Cutting I'm... out the wieners before you boil them is not a twist. Yes, it is. Because when you boil them... It's, it's yes. convenient. No, no. It's smart, actually. <laughs> yes. Because when I did it the first time and I boiled all the wieners first, oh you know God. how hot those are to cut up? It's really hot. <laughs> Really, really hot. So you cut them up ahead of time. I'm, a, oh my God. I'm proactive that way. Yes, I right? know. Right? I yes. learned. Yes. God bless you. Uh-huh. Okay. This is something interesting. For some reason, I think I had told you this before, <clears throat> Mike has been buying the little assorted packs of chips. 
They come in like a th- like a box of 18. Yes. So I have a new favorite chip. Uh-huh. It's the cheesy. It's the puffs. Why are you rolling your eyes? Because a cheesy is not a potato it's chip. It's in with the potato chip. It's a cheesy. It's a potato chip no, cousin. No, it's not. It's, not it's a potato cousin. chip cousin. It's, not it's living in the box with the potato <laughs> chips and the Doritos. There's two chips, a Doritos and a cheesies. And yeah. a Dorito is a nacho. That's fine. I'm not talking about those. I know, but it's not a a cheesy is not a chip. It's a cousin. It's not. It's a cousin. It's not made from a potato. It doesn't matter. It's part of the family. It's like welcome to the party, right? That's what it's like. Third distant cousin. It's like, yeah, twice yeah, removed. twice removed. That's fine. But still, <laughs> if you do 23 and me, it'll still link it to them. <laughs> right? They'll still my, be... My Polish... <laughs> right? My Polish... My Polish orange cousin. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> Cheesy puff. <laughs> There'll still be a link. <laughs> In the 1600s, came over on the boat and oh landed in America, I'm assuming. In America. In America. In America. And slowly made their way to Canada. Yes. Yes. Cheesy from Poland. My Polish cheesy puff. Right? Yeah. Oh right? God. Get the kit. I guarantee it. 23 there, and me. There's a link. 23 and me. All right. Right? All right. But guess what? Uh-huh. My Jays have reported I, to spring training. Yes. Yeah. God, even I knew that. How exciting is that, though, so hey? Yeah, so already um, we have no signs of a good team. <laughs> <laughs> so like last year. Yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? Right now we have we have we have Vladdy Jr. and he's in the minors, but he's like the number one prospect. Uh-huh. And the Jays are supposed to be bringing him up and putting him on third base, and that's what every Jays fan is waiting for, right? Because he's 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 our future. So we're okay if you bring up young kids that are, have a future, right? Because uh-huh. then that's new and exciting. Yeah. Just today on my Bleacher Report, announcement comes up on my phone. There's no estimated time of arrival for Vladdy Jr. Oh, for Christ's sakes. The only thing that's holding your Jays fans together is the fact that he's coming to spring training and he's going to be coming up and playing because you traded Josh Donaldson. And now, no ETA. Okay, don't put no ETA and think that nobody can figure out what ETA means. I'm sorry. The only reason I'm laughing is because you're so serious Because I was right so now. mad. When I saw it, I'm like, oh, for oh my fuck's God. sake. The look on your face is like, how can they fucking do this to me? Because I'm so mad. That's how I feel. Are you kidding me? Really? The only thing we want is Vladdy Jr. And now you're saying there's no ETA. There's no ETA. Oh. Oh, my God. I got to crack out the fake fan. Yeah. I haven't had to do that for a bit. I know. The fake fan needs to come out. It's time. Damn it. It's time already. Oh, shake off the cobwebs. Here I come. Right? Yay! It's baseball season! Baseball season! Right? So we have our first game next Saturday. Woo! I know. And you know, and it'll be minus forty here till April. It will be, and then we have some games coming up, some some uh, preseason games coming up against our nemesis, the Phillies. Oh god! So we'll have to figure out what that looks like. No, for John. we're not doing anything. Oh, we're gonna be doing something. No, we're not. I think we will. No, be. we're not. I think we will be. No, we'll see. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh huh. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm just saying. But you know what? Thirty three more days. Till what? Spring. That's okay. based on the calendar. I don't know, but I'm looking at a gigantic pile of snow right now I that's that. beside your head. But based on the calendar, Samantha, <laughs> 33 days till spring. Yeah. Right? Good luck. I don't know what that means. That means nothing. Means nothing. Means but, nothing. but you know what? I needed that today. I needed to know that there is a, that there's an end time. Yeah. Right? That's nice. 33 days. Uh-huh. Yeah. How's your Valentine's been? No, oh, it's been great. I didn't get nothing. You didn't get nothing. I didn't ask for nothing. I didn't want nothing. No. You know what you could have got? <laughs> showed up on my Facebook page. It's really weird. And I don't go looking at weird stuff on my Facebook. Uh-huh. Right? I'm not creepy that way. I'm classy, thank you. But there's no, a new... you're not. Yes, I'm a classy girl. <laughs> I'm a classy girl. Right. But there's a new chocolate. And what it's called, it's disgusting. Sorry, friends of the podcast, but I have to, I have to share. Uh-huh. Edible anus. And when I say anus, I mean your bum hole. That's what it is. And what they do, Samantha... Okay. Is somebody... <laughs> Stop. Yes. How? Okay. Just showed what up. What have you clicked on? I haven't clicked to on. To get that in your Facebook feed. I don't know, feed. but there it is on my Facebook feed. I don't know. It's just there. I think you're dirty. I'm not dirty. I'm not dirty. And I'm certainly not pornographic, I'll have you know. Right? Right? I am not oh that girl. Oh, my God. Yeah, but that's... And 
They what? Well, how they do it? They even explained how they do it. They mold your butt. Yeah, they put chocolate in oh. your asshole. Ah, oh. right. And then it gets hard. And then they they then they put it in like a container. And they send you twelve. They send your love. Here's twelve of my loves. Bum. Weird, eh? Yeah. The fact that's how weird that you read through it. Well, I was curious once I saw edible anise. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Right? Because you read that because you're... Nothing says Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> like my chocolate... edible butthole. Like my asshole in chocolate. <laughs> right? Right? What is that? That's just how weird Valentine's Day has gotten. That doesn't make sense. It's disgusting. It's gross. It's just one more reason to hate Valentine's no, Day. Oh, my God. Now, that just... That solidified it. And no pun intended. No. Right? That completely solidified it. Oh. That's why I hate Valentine's Day. It's like my new reason to hate Valentine's Day. <laughs> creepy chocolate. Now you've made it creepy well, chocolate. Well, and we're about to talk to somebody yeah. who feels the exact same way she we do. She feels the same way. About Valentine's Day. Right, Samantha? Day. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be... Let's, have, let's Should we listen to... Should we see what, what she has to say? I think so. Okay. Okay. All right, folks. We have a fun guest today. How exciting. The Dirty Hippie. The Dirty Hippie's joining us. <laughs> Hello, Dirty Hippie. Hello, ladies. How are you? How, we're good. How are you good. doing? I'm good. I'm nestled up snug and like a bug in a rug over here. It's freezing. I know it's still freezing here. We're not that many hours apart. No, we are not. I don't think the temperature is <laughs> different. No, it is not. No. Probably no. not. No, because you're, no. you're, you're in vagina. In a where now? You're in vagina. <laughs> That right? sounds better. <laughs> Vagina, Saskatchewan. That's Vagina. where you're calling from. Or as my dad likes to say, the city that rhymes with fun. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. All right. The reason we have gathered together is because we all have a little bit of a dislike for Valentine's for Day. For Valentine's Day. Like, it's a holiday that I don't even think it should be a holiday. No, it shouldn't. No. It's I been... have bad memories. You know what? Here's the whole thing with Valentine's Day. It's too commercial. It's too much love. And th- that's it. Okay. That's been nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, so, Jenna, oh. what do you think? I can't disagree. I think it's a bunch of bunk, if I'm being honest with you. And, and you know, when we decided that we were going to chat, I was thinking, trying to think back of like, oh, let's think of some cute Valentine's. Yeah, no. There no, isn't any. No. And I, I, I haven't been single for... Oh, God, Ever. 24 years, probably. Yeah. And so, you know, even in my single days, you were just pining for stuff. And then once you had a partner, you were just like pining for stuff. And then now that I'm older, I'm like, <laughs> why are you spending money on this stuff? Right. Because I like, don't buy me flowers that are going to die. I'd rather just like I'd rather just have takeout pizza. Right. I don't want the flowers. Your husband gives you f- gives you Valentine's every time he goes grocery shopping. My husband, he's just chock. He's Mr. Valentine. <laughs> because he 365 buys you. 365 days a year. He buys you all the foods that you love. And then he whispers sweet nothings, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, he's that guy. He does buy, or he likes, he tries to plump up his girl. That's yes, what he, he wants does. to do. He wants to plump her up. Aww. Yeah. Because he, he shows his love through food. It's good to have a little extra plump with this weather, I'm telling you. Yeah. I know, right? Got a little little fat on the bones. Yeah. Exactly. Right? I, so, so, I ain't cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? My bottom half is cold because that's not my big oh. area, right? So bottom down cold. Just saying. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Sam has a story she wants to my share. My ass and my boobs are the warmest part on me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay, Samantha. But speaking of being a woman on Valentine's Day. Yes. Japanese women are taking a stand. Japanese women. Yeah, I came across a story where they're pushing back against a Valentine's Day tradition that makes them obligated to buy chocolates for the men that they work with. Okay, back it up. So they're buying, so so I work with men and I'm a Japanese woman needing to buy them chocolates tomorrow. Yeah. Why? It's a tradition that goes back forever and the Japanese love Valentine's Day. Absolutely love it. Like more than they love like their electronics? Maybe. I don't know. But apparently the tradition is called Giri Choco. Giri Choco. Which is literally obligation chocolates. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
And Godiva, the big Belgian chocolatier, last year put out a big ad saying, ladies, if you feel like you're being obligated to do this, don't do it. So it's kind of like the Me Too. Yeah. The Japanese version. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. What do you think about that, hippie? If I had the option of being a Japanese woman and having to purchase chocolate for coworkers, what did you say it was called, Sam? It's called Gary Choco. Gary Choco? Yeah. I'd be saying, Gary, I hope you choke on these chocolates. (laughs) There you go. That's what I would write on these little cards. (laughs) Yeah, right? Choco on this, Gary. That's what I'd be. (laughs) Because in the Japanese culture... The, only the women give the men chocolate on Valentine's Day. But you know what? In every culture, it's women giving, giving, giving. Women, that's all we do. All we do is give, 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 no matter what. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> that's all we do, right? When was the last time we took? We take nothing. We just give. We just give. <laughs> we just, we're givers. But but apparently, people are kiboshing this tradition. They're done. They're done. Because they they, they, they see it as harassment. Well, or you know what? Just reciprocate. Like if I'm going to buy you chocolate, that's the thing, right? If I'm buying a coworker chocolates, I better be getting chocolates too because that's what's polite. It's That doesn't happen. That's not right. No. But interesting fact though, okay. in Tokyo, there's a, a resort that has a hot spring that they fill with chocolate water. It's disgusting. That's disgusting. Would you go swimming in chocolate water, Jenna? Yes. No. <laughs> you also would that bathe in turkey amazing. gravy, wouldn't you, hippie? That sounds disgusting. No. Matter of fact, I think oh I just threw up God. a little in my mouth right now. <laughs> That's disgusting. I think it's funny. Well, you're and, but, not okay. eating it, Lisa. You're just swimming in it. No, but you're swimming in it. Sam's swimming in it. We're all swimming in it. <laughs> just don't How is that it. any it's different like, than swimming in a pool? I don't really lake. do that either. That's why it's called the community bath. Oh, right? And one should just bathe on their own. Ugh. <sighs> See, that's how the dirty hippie takes a bath. You throw that bitch in some chocolate and she's done. (laughs) Dirty hippies in heaven. Right? It's the whole two birds, one stone. Ew. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, Okay, but Jenna, you said that you were single. You haven't been single for 24 years. I have an art. I came across an article. Well, it gave me, it gave us reasons why it's, awesome to be single on valentine you know what i uh, signed me up <laughs> i haven't been single for like probably that many years too it seems like a lifetime like a death it, sentence i think that being single on valentine's day until recently i really didn't care but i feel like there's a population percentage of the population that would find this incredibly difficult to be single yeah why i think because we have such a everything's so attached to it like if you're not a couple uh, by valentine's it's one day, day. It's Did one... you feel like that when you were single, Jenna? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Really? There's a lot of... Like single angst? There's a lot of weird pressure. For Valentine's Day? Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I must have just been the girl that went to work because it's Thursday. Right? <laughs> like, that must have just been me. What do you do on Valentine's Day? I go to work because it's, it's Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but the reason why it would be awesome to be single on Valentine's Day, you save money. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You do save money. Yeah. You're not disappointed because the romantic gesture didn't work out? Okay, here's my question. I want to know why the dirty... Okay, dirty hippie, <laughs> why do you think it yes. would be better to be single? Oh, because I put all of this ridiculous pressure on myself, especially when I was, you know, when my husband and I were still in our earlier stages of marriage, right? I put so much weird pressure on him to, like, keep up appearances. Did you guilt him into, like, buying your stock? Oh, my God. Yes. All the time. Oh, no way. When I was working, I would work in an office full of women and they would be getting (laughs) stuff delivered to them, like to the office all day. And so this was back before cell phones and stuff. So I'm on MSN chat. That's how old (laughs) I am. And I'm messaging him going, oh, so, you know, like, what time is the delivery coming? Wink, wink. And he's like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, no, seriously, like. I need to know what time to take my lunch break so I don't miss it. <laughs> and so, again, all the women getting flowers, getting chocolate. Yeah, getting chocolate. All this other kind of stuff. So the end of the day is nearing, and I'm finally, I'm panicking. I pick up the phone, and I'm like, seriously, what time is the delivery coming? All of these women are looking at me because I haven't received anything yet, and they think you don't love me. And were you getting, you're getting angrier by the hour, right? So I legit, like, 
straight up Jewish guilted him so hard that he <laughs> must have ran to the nearest whatever store and paid I don't know how much money for a rush delivery and whatever, just so I could open up some, I don't know, some fancy ass soaps in front of a group of wow. bitches that I didn't even care about. Really? You were that really? girl? Okay, ah. but as a as a wife now of X amount of years, yeah. what do you expect from him now? Nothing. Do the dishes. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just do, do the, the dishes, dishes, bro. That's it. <laughs> right? Happy Valentine's Day, dear. I love you. Dishes are done. Right? Yeah, no, I, I agree 100%. Because we don't, do you need stuff now? No. What stuff do you need? No. Nothing. I need nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Like a pat on the back, have a nice day is good. <laughs> right? Right, and now I'll get mad. Like if he, if he does send me stuff, I'll be like, how much did this cost? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> how much money did you waste on this? Although, so, you know what, the gift has just got a new, we, we just got a new Valentine's Day gift that I, I must have, I must have stumbled upon it because I didn't know anything about it. And it's a new car charger. I just saw it. New battery car charger. Big fancy schmancy. Happy Valentine's Day, Lisa. Happy Valentine's Day, Mike. Saw that, saw that last night, stumbled upon it. I'm like, what, if, what might this be? It's, it, it was a purchased item that was not discussed. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh yep. So that's your love language? That's our love language right there. Car battery. <laughs> I never ever put pressure on. I don't, I never cared. I don't care. I don't care. No. I don't care either. No. I have horrible memories of Valentine's Day. Yes, you as do. A, as a, a person who went to high school and got tortured. Samantha was bullied. I did not enjoy it. You Aww. didn't like it at all. No, I didn't. Huh. And were, well, were you bullied by the girls? Then, yes. Because right? most high schools will have like those buy a rose for like your loved one or your boyfriend or girlfriend or yeah, your yeah. special someone. And then, you know, the SRC will come to the classroom, deliver roses and all the popular <laughs> and you kids don't, are getting all their you don't get and, one. And there's the drama geek in the back just going, Oh, well, maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so true. Right. And that's part of my issue with Valentine's day in schools. Yes. We were talking about that earlier because yes. I think that it should be banned because Okay, so in my opinion, it should be banned because it's too, uh, like, it's too, you are popular, so you got the cookie gram. You're popular, you got the rose. You're a loser, you got nothing. Whereas, Sam, mm-hmm. you were saying that you think that, that it should be, no, if I don't want to give you something, I shouldn't have to. Uh huh. And I'm like, if you're a kid, if I'm in public school, you all get a Valentine's Day card or nobody should participate. And then you're the opposite, right. Sam. You're like, uh uh-uh, uh, I'm just going to give it to Sally and Margaret. I don't feel kids should have to give anything to anybody they don't want to. Then it should be banned. You're teaching them to be false. No, then it should be, no, you're, we're teaching them to be friendly to everybody. No, we're teaching no, them to, I to disagree. treat people who treat them like a piece of shit with kindness. Well, that piece of shit needs to be treated like a piece of shit. Samantha. I'm sorry. Hey, the hippie's got a kid. What? <laughs> as Hey, dirty hippie, as a mom, what's your take? Well, see, I'm lucky because my kid is not a piece of shit. So <laughs> they usually get things well, on thank God. But, you know, the younger the younger they were in the younger grades, it was way worse. Like my little mini hippie is in grade seven. And so a lot of that stuff doesn't apply as they get older. But I remember when when they were in the younger grades. Oh, my God. What a shit show. I'm not even kidding. Like, So should it be banned? Oh, I don't know if it should be banned, but I think less pressure needs to happen on on moms because when they're oh, okay. in younger grades it's like oh so-and-so's mom is making custom cupcakes and cookies and oh. yes and, and sending gift bags and treats like did you know that valentine's cards now for kids have actual spots in them to attach gifts yes 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 we saw that with my sister-in-law today today <laughs> she, she she like pinterested a bunch of shit and i'm like that's oh the problem God. with that that's my issue with pinterest too gives people oh, too many right. projects Excuse me, Mackenzie. <laughs> like the card is the gift, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like I took time to buy these. My kids still in them out. I'm not tucking in an iTunes card. You know, little Hudson's not taking home a prepaid visa this year. Chill out. It's a Valentine's card. My God. <laughs> <laughs> so when your when your daughter was young, what kind of treats did were they were you guys allowed to bring to school? Has that changed? No, everything is still the same. So a lot of kids attach like physical presents, 
Uh, so w- whatever that is, pencils and, and, you know, whatever. And then there's like the handmade bags of candy, clearly the Pinterest moms that have the custom, you know, construction paper and stickers and whatnot. And then like uh, the mom that I was, cause I, ha- I like to bake. So I was the one that bring custom cupcakes and, and fondant covered cookies with like, all of that kind of stuff. But the amount of time that went into that and stuff, it's ridiculous all because you feel like you have to. I remember cupcakes coming to, come into the public school. I remember people bringing, oh, yeah. cu- and not my mom, my mom, but my mom, like you'd be thankful you take your cards, <laughs> right? Cause if my mom had to do it, like, does mom have to be part of this? No. Okay. Yeah, fine. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, I've been known to stuff like Ziploc bags with gas store, like gas station, jelly beans, the morning of, because I, I said the whole, like, we're not doing anything this year, right? No, mom, we're good. And then, you know, oh, so-and-so said they're bringing this and this and this. Well, shit, we're pulling over into the Seven Eleven to see what kind of jelly beans and stuff they've got. Thank God they sell Ziploc bags. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. I just I just think it's too much pressure. But do you know, here's something interesting, guys. Do you know that 51% of people plan to celebrate, but it's down 4%. So it's on the decrease. The average American is expected to spend $160 on Valentine's Day. Ugh. The the biggest spending age group are people aged 35 to 44. They're going to spend $279. Hmm. I'll tell you, if you're spending $279 on me, it better be good. And it better come with a receipt so I can take it back and get the money. So you better pay cash. And uh, here's something interesting. I don't own a pet except for my fake cat. Pet lovers will spend 80, $886 million on their pets for Valentine's Day. What? Yes. That's ridiculous. I save my right? money spending for Christmas and birthdays. <laughs> there you go, right? Charlie's oh only <laughs> getting recognized at Christmas and birthdays. You, you know the only good thing about Valentine's Day? What? Is the next day when everything's on sale. Yeah, but they don't even do good chocolates anymore. Yeah, they do. No, it's all shit chocolate. No, it's not. It's not good chocolate. It's all the same companies that make the chocolate for like pot of gold or like whatever. And then they just throw a red sticker on it and it becomes right? Valentine's chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, the, and then the night crew comes in yeah. and they take the sticker off and they put an Easter bunny on it tomorrow. <laughs> right. Like, Cause that's what they putting think. Like my Kit Kat in a heart shaped box. Like when did Kit Kat become Valentine's? When it could turn itself red. Mm, it's crazy. I don't understand any <laughs> of saying. that. I think it's so ridiculous. Like, Oh, don't even get me started with Easter because we'll be there soon enough. Right? And I have Easter candy angst. <laughs> oh, God. What? Okay. I'm just stop. saying. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, fine. I'll stop, Samantha. <laughs> okay. So, Jenna, are you saying that even when you were a young couple, you and Jason never went on, like, a Valentine's Day date? Oh, we did. We did. I hated it, though, because you had to make an, a, a reservation <laughs> And then you're waiting for, you know, half an hour, 40 minutes, even with your reservation for your table. And then everything is extra fancy. There's a special menu. Oh, yeah. And it's double the price of like the average menu. Exactly. And you don't get to pick all the food. They tell you what food you're going to eat. Right. (laughs) That's an issue. I'm sorry. I've been single for so long until just recently. (laughs) <laughs> but you know what? Here's the thing. And then what happens at the end of the night? Then you got the expectation. Oh. Yeah, and it's a work oh. night. It's a work night. I'm done. Right? <laughs> it's not a sign. It's not a sign. It's not a sign. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> rubbing your cold, rubbing your wife's freezing cold toes because she has frostbite from waiting for the bus. Sorry, this is out of the kindness of your heart, right? Not a sign. Yes. <laughs> God, let's just let's just clear that up before you rub any further. Right. <laughs> Oh God! I'm just saying, oh, Samantha. My God. Okay, so it doesn't. Okay, old old married people. Old married people old here. Married people, it would not have mattered how much stuff or what happened on Valentine's Day if you didn't want to do the bomb chicka wah wah. Nothing was happening. Smith, if I don't want to do it, it's not happening. Two people need to do it, right? I get one person can do parts of it, but two people. It's a two person tango. Right? No, I know, but like Ugh, it wouldn't sway you. Of course, you. it's happening. It's of right. course, Jenna. Right. It ain't happening. I don't. No way. Really? The obligatory bomb chicka wah wahs because of holidays? You're not. 
Wow. No, so this we, old hippie so... has gone out to pasture. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, hey? Just when I thought there no. wasn't a worse wife than me. <laughs> and you know what? But although I think that the hippie probably is on the same length, length as the HHG. Because I think the HHG also would not be giving in to the, obl- the obli- obligation. No. Probably not. Probably not. Right? And then I just feel sorry for your husband. Not just be- because it's Valentine's Day. Just because it's your birthday means you're getting... No. It's just no, not birthdays. Day. Not birthday. No. Valentine's Day. Oh, well, no, you know, I'm, Christmas. I'm, I, you know, I will say yes for Valentine's Day, but Mike's working because he works at night. So, sorry, I wanted to. I was there. I was ready. Oh, you were at work. You never showed up. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, if he were to come home yeah. Friday morning. Friday morning. I got to go to work. He brought you flowers, a card, and some chocolate. Thank you. You wouldn't give him nothing? Before I go to work? Like, I'm getting on the bus in an hour and a half? Well, he better come home earlier. No, and then I better be awake. Oh, there's too many factors involved. No. <laughs> and, you know, and then here's the bad thing, right? It's because then when you come home from work, right, oh it's God. already time's passed, so the moment's gone, right? So, yeah, I don't really, know. Really, it's just Friday. It's just Friday, right? And it's not just Saturday yet. <laughs> oh, my God. Right? Oh and God forbid God. if it's Sunday, but it's, remember before, I remember we had that conversation a long time ago, right, when I got my new phone. Right. And at the end of the day, right, I got a brand new phone for no reason. At the end of the day, it was 10 o'clock at, my, at night. And Mike said, yeah, I don't know. I said, oh, that was a nice day. And he's like, yeah, what was in it for me? Way too late now, dear. Nothing. It's 10. I got to go to work tomorrow. Right? You missed your what's in it for you. Oh, God. Right? I don't know. I don't know who to feel more sorry for. Well, I'm just saying, Samantha. Right. This is not a good pitch for being a couple. It's not a good couple pitch. No, you know what? It's just we've been married for a long time, right? Mm-hmm. You, you do what you want to oh do and God. have fun with it. Okay. Okay. Then I have to ask the question. Okay. Because now we're on it. Okay. Now we're on it. Ladies, not you. Okay. I'm going to actually screw oh, you. And by ladies, I don't mean the one sitting in the no, car with me. I mean I the mean one on the phone. Jenna, the dirty hippie. Okay. What could Jason do that would make you be like, okay, let's get it on? Oh, Oh, a horrible question. Remember Nothing. I said oh, sorry. the hippie's gone to pasture? I, like I said, my love She's language crazy. is like, you're cooking supper and doing the dishes? And then you're giving in? You're hanging your coat up instead of putting it on the chair? Ooh. See, those are all you know? signs, or like, Jenna. You know, throw in a neck rub and a back rub, and then it's like maybe a hard maybe. Like a hard maybe. <laughs> but no guarantee. No guarantee. She drives a hard bargain. <laughs> she, does. she drives a hard bargain. Oh my god! Right? Okay. So See, now Valentine's... you know my husband. He's a hard worker in life and in the, and and <laughs> in his quest right. for the. I make that boy pay. He's gonna work for, <laughs> for the it. Holy he's grail. a giver. Hey, ladies! I have the perfect gift to give your husbands. <laughs> Tell me. A flashlight. Yeah. Flashlight. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Yawn. Or how about just long? Just you know what, dear, take longer in the shower. Feel free. <laughs> oh my God, you people are horrible. I'm just saying, Samantha, we're just having oh. some fun here. So basically, Valentine's Day's Valentine's Day means nothing to couples. I think you've some been married, couples it does. If you've been married for a certain length of time, can't we just love people all the time? That's can't my we just philosophy. be loving, right? Like, can't you pick your coat up off the floor every day? Not just because you want sex because it's Valentine's Day, right? But then on that hand, then what you don't want is you don't want them thinking, let's have sex every day. You don't want that. Right. Well, I'm just saying no. that if he's going to, like, put away his stuff, do the dishes. That's called being a responsible adult. I'm not saying he's going to expect it all the time. Because he's being an adult? <laughs> I tell you, I do dishes. I put my stuff away. I'm not, go- I'm not knocking on the door. <laughs> just saying. I don't know. Okay, can I give some reasons why I hate Valentine's Day? Sure. Just in case the world doesn't know that we hate it yet. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> I hate, this is what I hate. I hate the candy hearts with messages. Oh, really? Yeah, I hate that. Right? I hate the idea of Cupid. <laughs> I think that's dumb. He's a half-naked human. He's <laughs> with wings. Weird. And he's red. <laughs> uh, and I hate the color he's a red. Carib. Right? I hate cheesy Valentine's Day cards. I hate the expectation. I hate... Heart-shaped pizza. Don't wreck my pizza. 
You ate a heart-shaped donut. I did eat a heart-shaped donut. And a heart-shaped cookie. But that was different. That was the be mine. That's different. <laughs> and I just think it's too cliche. And lingerie, I'm not wearing that shit. Oh. Right? Hey, that that re- that makes me ask another question. <laughs> don't ask me. Ask the hippie. Mm-mm. No? I don't even wear a bra most days. I sure as hell ain't <laughs> buying a fancy one for one day. <laughs> All right, let's turn it back to the let's turn it back to the 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 newly not so single Samantha lingerie or no lingerie? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> expectation? No expectation. I have none. <laughs> oh, because I don't like it on as a rule. I don't like it. With lingerie or or sex? Valentine's Valentine's Day. Day. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Mm. Everything else is fine. But Everything the else is on the table. Day. Everything else is on the table. <laughs> Any other day but Valentine's That makes you a busy woman. You're a better woman than me. Right? You're a, right? You're a new woman. That's why. Yeah. Right? That novelty you're works. Years. No, I'm a woman who knows what she likes. <laughs> I'm a woman who knows what she likes. I like to go to bed early. <laughs> I like the fact that you go to work at night. I like the fact that you... That you do all the good stuff that you do. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Jenna, Jen- is your marriage like this, too? Um, <laughs> there's Yes, there's some definite uh, similarities, for sure. Right? Don't get me wrong. I love, I love Mike to death. I just, you know, but we need to have boundaries. <laughs> right? We need boundaries. That's what I'm saying. Nothing is a sign. Nothing is a sign. <laughs> right? Unless I choose, it's a sign. It's right. different if I'm thinking it's a sign. Oh, my God. But that's not happening often. I don't read signs very well. But for men, honestly, though, men, everything is a sign. Everything is a sign. Yeah. You know, you drop a spoon on the floor, you bend over to pick it up, and he happens to catch a little glimpse of the cleave or whatever, you right? know, or your rump is looking t- – like, that's not a sign. It's not a sign, right? Right. I'm just picking right? up a spoon here, dude. I'm not. I'm not on display. <laughs> All right. I'm not. I'm not trying to initiate oh anything my here. God. Yeah. Exactly. Just picking up a spoon. So basically, Valentine's Day doesn't matter. No. Ah. Just a day. You know what? Just a day. It's just a day. That's what I think. <laughs> I agree. I'm with the hippie. Okay. Yeah. Don't waste All your right. money. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just save your cash. Yeah. You know. Don't waste your money. Shower me with gifts all the time. Not just one day a year. <laughs> right. Right? That's what I'm or saying. Or just don't don't shower me with gifts at all. That's a waste of money. See, I'm super low maintenance. I, I, I tell my husband all the time. He he got it easy with me. I like I don't expect any of that kind of stuff. And I've always been See? that way. Like I don't want a birthday present. We don't buy each other Christmas presents. We don't No, we don't either. Like, we don't either. I'm so low maintenance. Don't waste your money. Oh, I'm like part hippie. <laughs> See? <laughs> I am, I'm the exact same. Bra sooner than later, you watch. You're gonna let <laughs> well, those she's already bounce taken free. The... They'll never know. You like, you'll never know, know freedom until you let those beasts run on like a day. <laughs> like, go to the grocery store without without a bra. It's no, liberating. never, ever. Oh my god, I just had a panic attack. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, I only put one on if I'm going out, like out, out for like a fancy like, uh, thing. Wow. And I put one no. on the day that I came to to sit and do the last podcast with you ladies. And, and I we appreciate that. I figured that. I better put a bra on for Betty. That's a bra. That's a bra occasion for sure. <laughs> and you know, I, yeah. and, and, and I'm in a bra today, so that's a good thing, right? Because that's what you're supposed to do when you go out, Jenna. Oh, we see, get up I, and no, you put your bra. No, on. you're not. Who says you? <laughs> you're not in charge of my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough, right? All right. Let's I don't know. Freak flag fly, man. <laughs> so, okay, one last question for the hippie. If you could yeah. pick your ideal Valentine's Day gift, what would it be? <gasps> Edible bouquet. Oh. I love yes. those, like, the pineapples in the shape of flowers, and then they're all dipped in chocolate. And, yeah. Nothing wrong with I that. I like the chocolate-covered fruit bouquets. See, and with that point, you know what I would do? I would do like a chocolate fondue. I could do that. I'd be happy with a chocolate fondue. Like, you know how when we go to the Saskatoon Inn and we get like brunch and we have with the, yes, with the chocolate fountain. Mm, Yeah. I'm on. I I agree. If Mike Gibson buys a chocolate fountain and sets that up. There you go. That could be Anything's possible. (laughs) That could be a sign. Anything. That could be a sign. (laughs) 
yeah, that could <laughs> oh that God. could be a sign. Okay. <laughs> right? Yep. Did we have anything else we wanted to hang out and chat with the hippie about? No, I think we're good. I think we got it all. I think we found all out right. a little bit too much e- about each other's sex lives. Always a little too much information <laughs> when we hang out with the dirty hippie. <laughs> Oh, at least we didn't talk about my armpits, so that's good. No, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> that's for the summer. <laughs> that's that'll okay, be the summer episode, perfect. right? We'll bring we'll bring you back for the for the summer maintenance episode. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us, Jenna. We really appreciate this. Jenna, whereabouts can people find you? Because I know now you're you're uh, you're. I see you a little bit more on social media. Well, I thought you know what? If I could find a way to promote your guys. Uh, podcast. We love that. I'm going to take every opportunity I can. So I started up a little Facebook page and an Instagram page, just uh, the Dirty Hippie with the uh, ISMH at the end for I Shake My Head. And uh, yeah, I basically just uh, share funny little things on there from time to time and always promoting. Uh, the I Shake My Head podcast with Lisa and Sam because you guys are fantastic. And we appreciate that and we love that because we think that you're hilarious. Yes. We, we yeah, always yeah. have fun. <laughs> always. Have, and I even, hey, and I paid four ninety nine for that app, the pause app that makes my face talk. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it because you can do <sighs> all sorts of fun little videos. With so that much <laughs> fun. I know. I'm just, I'm just learning it. So, so we appreciate, <laughs> but we do, we appreciate all things Dirty Hippie. Yes, we do. All right. Well, I'm Samantha. so glad. Thanks for having me guys. Hey, we'll have you on again soon, okay? Anytime. All right, take okay. care. Bye, Jenna. Bye. All right, it's time to ask people. What can they do? What can they do what for us? What can they do for us? What can they do for right? us? What can they do for us? <laughs> <laughs> ask. You ask. You ask. I don't like to ask. Oh, my God. We just revealed that last week. Yes, I know. And here we are having an awkward mm. moment again. I don't want to ask them. <laughs> you ask them. Samantha. Okay, guys. If you love us, share us. Yes. Please tell your people about us. Yes. We just, like, we sit in the car and we talk about weird things. You just and... heard a whole whack of weird things. Yeah. And, we and just... here's, here's, you know, maybe this is what people don't understand. Here's the thought process. You know what I think is really funny? What? I'm just going to throw this in mm-hmm. here right now. That you make me start this. And then I interrupt. And then you... Butt in. I'm a butt inner. I'm a butt inner. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I so can't change that. This now. is the beauty of what we're going to ask you to do, guys. We want you to tell people about to us. listen to us. Yes. Because this is how we talk all yeah, the time. Yeah, because we're crazy. Because <laughs> all we're we just want you to laugh and have fun. We want to share the laughter. Yes. We want to share the love, and we want to be the least stressful part of your day. Yeah. Go okay. to our Instagram. Go to our Facebook. Go to our Twitter page. We're everywhere. I shake my head with Lisa. And right. Sam. If you love us, just tell people. Mm-hmm. Right. Subscribe, keep listening, download, Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Lisa. Samantha. Your eyes shake my head. I have my eyes shake my head. It's kind of a joint one with the HHG because she was there too. Uh Uh-oh. So we were at, so of course it's a work-related one. Mm -hmm. So we were at work, right? And where we work is separate from the rest of the store. Mm -hmm. So we can't ring through their purchases, right? We have our own fitting rooms. We can't, right? We're a separate store, so we don't let their stuff into our fitting room, vice versa type Mm -hmm. of thing. So a lady was in our section. She didn't have our stuff. And she says, where's the fitting room? So the HHG just innocently says... (laughs) Under the plus size sign. And the lady's like, oh, nice. All offended. <laughs> Here's the thing, Samantha. First off, if you look down where their fitting rooms are, it's underneath the plus size sign. Yeah. Right? They have plus size. That whole area is plus size. Yeah. Right? And it's and, and the walls are signed. Plus size, plus size, plus size, plus size. Fitting rooms, plus size sign underneath the plus size sign Mm -hmm. the lady was so offended like as though we were like hey fatty (laughs) you take your fat clothes down to the fat section she wasn't even plus size and i think she was offended that we were sending her to the plus size section it's not like there's not separate plus size fitting rooms and why is it bad to be plus size exactly and she was like oh nice she was so offended. And then as she walked away, HHG and I were like doubled over laughing, right? Because it was the f- her. She was so overreactive. And I'm like, man, that just makes me shake my head. I don't get it. So that was my shake my head. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So crazy. Mine? Yes. <sighs> Tell me. Five dollar gelato. That was your idea. Do you feel like some? Do you feel like some gelato? You yeah. said. I'm like well, sure. Well, because I wanted it to be spectacular. Yeah. It was not. It wasn't. It was gelato. It's thick. It was thick gelato. Too thick. Which was fine. Yeah. And I paid for yours. You, you're like, I got this. I'm like, thanks. Right? Because <laughs> I had a bad haircut. <laughs> That's a good Fred right there. Hey, thanks, Samantha. Yeah. And yeah. then 
You made me mad because you didn't eat all your gelato. Because it was too much. Because I just got the chocolate fudge and it was... You don't order chocolate... That's what I learned. You don't order chocolate fudge gelato. No. No, it's too thick. No. Ugh. Uh -huh. yeah. So you wasted it. I did. The $5 I spent on you yeah. for your gelato because I wanted to make you feel better because you had a bad haircut. I know. And then what did I make you do? Pay for parking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, <laughs> hey? I'm like... That's I got my money's worth. You got your money back, hey? <laughs> You completely got your money back. It's so funny. So I shake my head at the fact that you wasted a five dollar gelato, and then I, and I shake my head and then at the I fact compliment I myself. paid for your parking. <laughs> and then I compliment myself on getting you to pay for a five dollar parking. I know because you're like parking. I'm like digging in my purse. Here you go, right? And you didn't even say your usual. Usual is you're like, oh shoot, I have no change, <laughs> right? Because they don't take debit or credit card here or whatever, right? I'm like, uh huh, okay. Yeah, I was making you pay for it. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. That's a little bit of an I shake my head. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, topic for next week. <laughs> I'm excited. I think I'm really excited well, about it. Well, because this is you. It's near and dear to your heart. It is. Yes. It is. We're gonna talk about buffets. 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 Samantha, we're gonna talk about the buffet. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Joan, we're going to go to the buffet. Tell me all about the buffet. We're going to go to the buffet. I want the all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> you want the two-for-one buffet. I want your thoughts. I want your thoughts on the buffet. All right, that's what we're talking about, friends. Buffets. <laughs> How weird is that, oh, hey? That's very weird. Yeah. Lisa? Samantha? Do you want to talk about Podbean? Yes. So, friends of the podcast, if you want to sponsor and support us, Subscribe. Subscribe. Go to our Podbean. Mm -hmm. That's our home. That's where our podcast lives. Yep. Well, it lives everywhere, but that's its original home. Yes. And when you download the app, you type in, I shake my head in the search, you'll see us and follow all us. of our episodes. Hit follow, and then there's a little red money bag over Sam's face. Yep. Give it a little punch. Yep. Anywhere $2 and up, you can you can help support the podcast. You know what? There's lots of different things we want to do. Yep. We want to go on the road. We do. We're talking about maybe doing like a live show someplace. Might need some microphones. Might need some microphones. Mm -hmm. We might, uh, you know, we're not just going out and buying lunch. No. We're not doing that. No. That's not what this is for. Betty might need some upkeep. She might need, right? Yeah. She might need an upkeep. <laughs> Right? <laughs> right? We want to, you know, we might need like a new... The creative like, process needs your help. It does. It needs your help. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Audio Editing Solutions is the guy who helps us sound so good. Yes. So thank you so much, John, for making us sound better than we probably should be. Thanks, John. <laughs> <laughs> you can listen to us on Podbean, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or any podcast app that you have. Yes. Um, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Yes. Come and visit with us. Come play. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Samantha? We just brought in new members, too. We did. We just had six new people. Yes. Thank you, Caroline Johnson. Thank you, Caroline Johnson. Yes. And the lady who sponsored us, she's from Kindersley? Yes. No. Kindersley? Yeah. No. No. Oh, Lloyd Minster. Lloyd Minster. Sorry. Yes. Whoops. She's from Lloyd. She's from Lloyd. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank she you. She was a $30 a month yes. sponsor. Yes. She just got a mug. Yeah. Right? And you know what? If you don't go to Podbean, you can go to Patreon. Mm -hmm. Right. Google that. You'll find us there, too. Yeah. You know, it's just fun. Right. And we're going to reward you. And then, you know what? You're going to get early episodes. Mm -hmm. You're going to get like lots of fun stuff. And yeah. we appreciate all the people that have already sponsored us. Exactly. Yeah. We appreciate everybody. It does. Uh, you know, it takes, takes a, vill a village. It takes a village, Samantha. <laughs> takes a village. Anything else you want to add this week? I don't think so. I think I'm done with you. Yeah, I think so. You had enough? Yeah. It's been a few days together. Again. Again. <laughs> oh, it never ends. All right, Samantha. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Yeah, it should be. Mm. This was a podcast from the Podfix Network. You can check out more shows like it at podfixnetwork.com.